Hi family, Lorna here coming back at you with another simple vegan recipe. Before I get started, I want to read you something from 3 John, 3 John 1 verse 2. And it says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul prospereth. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we thank you for today. We thank you for everyone that is tuning in. And I pray that this recipe will be a blessing to everyone. Thank you so much for being in our homes and in our lives and helping us to make healthy food choices. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So let's go ahead now and wash my hands and then we get started. So today we're going to make oat, oat nut burgers. So over here, I have four cups. Can you see that? Four cups of water and I have some bay leaves in it. Oh, can you see? Two bay leaves. And I have here half a cup of liquid aminos, half a cup of that in there, in the hot water. And in here, the food processor, I'm going to put four cups of rolled oats. Okay. And this is the rolled oats that I have the old fashioned, organic, non-GMO uh, rolled oats. Okay. And then I have some nutritional yeast. So I'm gonna add to that two tablespoon nutritional yeast, right there in, in there. And then I have half cup walnuts. So these walnuts, I already um, break them up in the blender and then I have half a cup of ground almonds uh, that's more than half a cup there and then over here I have one tablespoon of sage the sage gives it a very nice meaty flavor rosemary rosemary would be good too but I don't really like it, but it's before I stopped, decided to stop eating it. Um, I know, I know it, that it has a good flavor to the, to the food. So if you love rosemary, give it a, a try. I have here one tablespoon of organic garlic. Try to go as much organic as you can. Uh, one tablespoon of onion powder. Gonna put all of that in the food processor. And I have here two, what do you call these pepper? They're not really hot, I'll tell you, as pimento, two pimento pepper for flavor. They have amazing flavor. So we have everything here. So that's all you're gonna put in the food processor with the sauce over there. We're going to blend. Okay, that's it. It's all combined together. I like to get the rolled oats because it's you don't want to you. I don't. Some people might like the, the use the broad flakes, but I like to to grind them up myself, and 
it's more of a meaty texture when you grind it all up and I I put all the seasonings and everything together to make sure it's it's all combined and married together and you know it makes it looks looks so much better everything all the seasonings are grind up together in here and then let me just quickly rinse my hand again and then I'm gonna get a bowl here so the flax seed is in here the nutritional is the cat you can use cashew also to if you don't have almond but cashew or almond whichever one and I have walnut whatever you have whatever nuts you prefer but the the flax seed is what going to help to combine it together to make it whole so here I have everything that I mentioned to you and I'm gonna make a well just open up the middle right here like so and then I'm gonna take my my water with my coconut amino and bay leaves and pour in here I don't need to put salt because there is some salt there is some salt already in here so that's enough and lastly I have two tablespoon of coconut oil so I'm just gonna pour that it gives it a nice flavor so and the way I melt the coconut oil I put some water in here to boil I put my coconut oil in here and just just rest it in there and let it boil and melt the, the oil you want to keep the oil as raw as possible so all the nuts and the flax seed is going to absorb all of the the liquid and I just keep mixing it around like this so that all the flavors will come together so whatever whatever seasoning you like you can use those so season up whatever your, your favorite seasoning that you use when you're cooking your food that's what you're gonna use in, in, in an experiment you know try it out give different things I love the flavor of the nutritional yeast I love the sage I love the onion usually I use the, the real onion real garlic but when I'm making this here patty I like to use the powder so you you get the, the powder for that so you combine it you can leave it for a little bit leave it for a couple minutes and let all the flavors just marry together and become one and you do all of that and of course I do it so much time I'm tempted to taste it but I know I don't even have to because I I know how I can smell the coconut oil because I added it last all the flavors it's smelling so yummy so I just keep mixing mixing and the flax seed I think I'm going to add some more flax seed to it or did I add flax seed? Hold on one second. I did not add the flax seed. Can you imagine? I was like, I didn't add the flax seed. I thought I had the flax seed. Okay. So I need to put about half a cup of flax seed. Flax seed is so good for you. I use it every day almost every day I don't want to lie I use it so what you do you do you just put the the flax seed the whole seeds in your blender and just blend it up to powder you you have to blend it out don't use it whole 
So now that I had the flax seed, I'm going to, because I, I was saying it's supposed to hold together and didn't see it holding together. So yeah, now I can see it coming together. Flaxseed also give it a, a nice nutty. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh my gosh. Yes. That's it. That's what it's supposed to look like. Okay. okay. It's almost like a pudding. Okay, and then what you do now, you get uh, something with water. And remember I told you about the mason jar cover, mason jar cover. So I'm going to get my trusty dehydrator. I love my dehydrator. I will dehydrate everything if I can. So I have a knife here, my clean knife, and hold on, hold on, hold on, one second, okay. So what I do, I put this in the water, and you just take up and fill, fill it up like this, like so. All right, okay, so I'm going to fill it up. Like that. And then I'm gonna go down here. And put it on the Teflex, the Teflex sheet. If you are going to use the parchment paper um, be sure to um, grease it first. Grease it with some coconut oil and, and um, to make sure that your, your burgers doesn't stick to it. The Teflex, you know, they already come pre-moistened or God help whatever is on them. But um, you don't need to grease those. So you just keep doing that as much as you can lay them out these are good to eat take your place of meat so you just season them up if you want sometimes i chop up some onions in it just so i can see the onion and so if it's getting too dry then you put it back in the water so you so it doesn't stick and you come again and you keep repeating the process. I'm telling you, these are good with burgers. You make your nice homemade buns with your lettuce, tomato, relish, homemade, everything. Make homemade everything. And these are so good. You will, you will enjoy it. I'm, I'm not putting anything on here that I don't absolutely love. So, please give it a try. Don't just look at it and leave it there. Try it. Introduce it to your children, to your families. You know, share the recipe with your loved ones. Take them on potlucks. Take them to church, to school, to parties, to barbecues. And you can do these and freeze them they freeze well so you just put them on the tray like that i'm gonna put them in the dehydrator over here okay and i have some here that i made earlier this is what they look like and just to show you, after you put them 
on the Teflex sheet like this. Here, my hand's still clean. See, see, see how well they form up. So, so this is what you do. You put another one on it like this, and then flick it over. Take this off. See, take this off. And now it's going to, um, I'll put these back in and they will continue to dry so the top part can dry. So you see the, that part? So now this part will get to, and it will dry faster now because it doesn't have the, the Teflex. The Teflex has to go if it's something wet or runny so that it doesn't go through the holes. So now you're gonna dehydrate these now. I also I also did some in the oven earlier so I could show you um, someone already ha you can see someone already add half of that so this is this is how it this is how it looks and um, it's nice and soft crunchy yet soft it, it's just wonderful this is such a good good um, meat replacement it goes wonderful with your hamburger goes wonderful with your quinoa your rice whatever it is that you you're cooking and I will come back again and in another video and show you um, how I put the burgers together or how I, I, I I make the, the gravy for it. So give it a try. Oat nut burgers. Very nice, very delicious, very healthy. And I pray th I pray that you will be blessed by this recipe. Thank you for coming. Please remember to like, to share, to subscribe, and to comment below what other recipes you would want me to do to um to help you to enjoy a more healthier, simpler living, simpler lifestyle. Thank you again. Until next time. Bye for now.